One of the first reasons that you need to come and invest in Zambia is because uh, we have a very youthful population, which means there is a ready market for consumers and there is a ready market for skilled labor. We have a very vast tract of land for agriculture. Agriculture is the future. We have a country which is uh, 750,000 square kilometers. About two million of that land uh, in hectareage is arable. We also have one of the biggest resources needed for agriculture. That is 60% of the water in the southern African region is in Zambia. We have a working and credible rule of law system in Zambia. That means if you come and establish a business or a factory or an agriculture entity in Zambia, you will not fear that the next day you will wake up and it has been appropriated or redistributed because we adhere to local and international laws. I think anybody who wants to invest wants to know that their money is safe and they also want to know that there will be a recourse to an impartial justice system. The ease of doing business, we have been uh, graded by uh, um, OECD as one of the fastest countries that you can establish a business. It will start from anything from within a day to a month. Business people in Poland, business people from all over the world, if you are looking for a country where you want to get in the paperwork as fast as possible, Zambia is the country. Peace, safety, stability, and predictability. We believe that everybody who wants to establish a business wants to sleep soundly, like the proverb you're saying, sleep like a baby. Work like a slave, live like a king, that is in Zambia. Because you know that when you wake up in the morning, your business will be the same place where you left it. We have never been at war or conflict for 53 years. We have been independent 53 years. We have had six presidents. We've actually had two presidents die in office. But nobody engaged in any bloody conflict. We simply went to elections after every three months, and it was business as usual. People fight to get into power, but in Zambia, politicians actually give up power in order to ensure that there is a peaceful demonstration. Others would like to call us cowards, but we love our peace. And we believe it's that peace and stability that is a key ingredient to investment. If you're in the energy sector, Zambia is where to come. We have a power deficit of 2,000 megawatts. Now, <laughs> that may appear like a negative, right? But if you are in business, then you are looking at investing in the energy sector where there is 2,000 people, 2,000 megawatts that are awaiting to be exploited. You see, in the past, we had governments, successive governments, which subsidized the energy sector so the tariffs were low. Because you know politicians like people to be happy. And so you subsidize uh, mountains of debt and over a long period of time. But the current president that we have beat the bullet, took a bold decision and said, you know what? I don't really care whether people are going to like me over this or not, but I think we must make the energy sector profitable and scrapped the tariffs. So now people are beating an economic path to Zambia to go and uh, invest in the energy sector. So if you're in Poland and you want to invest in, just remember the place to go is Zambia. The reason why you're going to invest in Zambia is uh, a long time ago we used to be called a landlocked country because we've got about eight countries around us. But that has changed. It's now being called land-linked country. Because when you are coming to do business in Zambia, you are doing business with Tanzania, you are doing business with Angola, you are doing business with Zimbabwe, you are doing business with uh, Botswana, you are doing business with uh, eight countries, with the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, 
with, uh, you know, all these guys around there. So that's the reason that you're coming to do business in Zambia. You're not doing business with 17 million Zambians, but you're doing it with 700 million people in the Southern African Development Corporation and the common market of Eastern Africa. And these have a spending power of about uh, one trillion. <laughs> in Zambia, we have no exchange controls. This means you can come and invest your one billion dollars and you can take it all out once you make it to the bank. It's good for you to go. And then you can bring it all back. We are not going to stop you. This is your money. You came in, you invested, you created jobs, you reduced poverty. You want to take it out and go and invest it in Poland and reinvest it in Sweden or anywhere else, you can take it out and then you can come back. We will not stop you by law. Competitive tax incentives for a specific period. If you come and invest in the agriculture sector or you come and invest in the mining sector, all your equipment will be brought in the country duty free. We will not charge you any tax for bringing in equipment which you need to use to start a business. And here is the greatest thing. You know business people hate paying taxes. <laughs> you will not pay taxes for five years. For the first five years of your starting business in Zambia. So you can plow back your profits in a year, two years, three years, and then just think of paying taxes after five years. I mean, what, what is a better deal like than that? Only in Zambia. Only in Zambia. Uh, we have always heard of uh, government not being in the business of doing business. So Zambia will not interfere with your business unless it needs to help you, unless you've been hurt by a competitor. You are free. You have a free reign to do business. Thank you very much for listening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I have. It won't be a secret that the personality of the ambassador of, the, uh, of Zambia is uh, the person who is really uh, uh, speaking very good about Zambian market. And he, uh, his presentation today was the best presentation of, uh, of the conference. So uh, a lot of entrepreneurs were convinced about Zambian potential thanks to your ambassador. And uh, Zambia is one of the countries where we would like to go because, uh, as uh, we heard today, Zambia has uh, not been involved in any uh, war or in any uh, political conflict for so many years. And if we talk uh, about Africa, very often uh, entrepreneurs are afraid of war in Africa or of potential threats there. So if we hear that you are a peaceful country, a country with many needs, this is the first reason we would like to go there and look for the potential cooperation. For me, the best, the, the most important is uh, safe. Safe and uh, open. Uh, that Zambia is open and Zambia is a democratic country. And I think it is a very good place to, to make business for European, European people. Because we expect that uh, the country will be uh, safe will be open for new businesses and open for new technologies. And I think Zambia is that.